everybody's interested in the reopening of this firehouse. And with that being said, I'm going to ask the Deputy Mayor to come up and say a few words. Thanks. Thank you all very much. Uh, the Mayor wishes he could be here, but he's in Seattle this week uh, at the U.S. Conference of Mayors. Um, he's the Chairman of the Public Safety Committee, so once a year the Executive Committee of that uh, a uh, very austere group gets together and um, they uh, are meeting all week so he couldn't be here but he asked me to come. Uh, what a wonderful celebration this is. Um, I think of this as kind of my home turf. Uh, my two sons went to Rochester Children's Nursery for about 10 years each. My, uh, my, uh, one of my sons worked at St. John's Home for many years, so I've spent a lot of time in this neck of the woods and passed this fire station so many times, so I'm real excited to be here for the grand opening. Uh, first, I want to thank some folks who are here who took time out of their busy day. Uh, we have two council people, Dana Miller and John Lightfoot. Let's hear it for them. As we in the administration say, nothing's ha nothing happens without five votes, so there are two votes for this. Um, I want to thank many people on um, the uh, administration staff who had a hand in this. I think it's an example of what it takes to get something like this done. So first I want to thank Chief John Crawfield uh, and Deputy Chief Steve McClary who shepherded this project um, through many years and um, uh, it takes strong leadership and great administrative prowess to pull off something like this on the timeline we did. So let's hear it for them. So we, um, we are in very active uh, negotiation all the time when we go through a reorganization like this because it means that we have to work with 911 to make sure that the responses to the calls are um, coordinated in the computer system. So John Merklinger is here from 911. Let's hear it for John. <laughs> Nothing starts without money. And this was a $1.3 million project, and so in addition to the City Council, we always need to thank our Office of Management and Budget, who is uh, represented here. Uh, we, we, we like Suzanne Warren, but we said Bill Ansborough needs to get out of the office one of these days. So Suzanne Warren, thank you very much for being our link to the budget. like this, we need great engineers and architects. So Jim McIntosh, our city engineer, and Pam Marcotte, our chief architect, are here. Uh, one of the reasons to have this grand opening is to uh, let people in the neighborhood come back and see um, what a wonderful um, city presence we have in this neighborhood. And under Chief Caulfield's leadership, we are trying to get the RFD even more so to be part of the community. Uh, and the community um, is represented here by people from Southeast Area Coalition, Helen Hogan and John Ballone, and many other people, I'm sure. So let's hear it for them. <laughs> if I missed anyone, Chief Caulfield's going to pick up the slack. <laughs> um, so let me talk a bit about the, this. Um, this is uh, the next phase of our major reorganization in, in the fire department, which the Chief will talk about in a little bit uh, more detail. Uh, but this was very much a collaborative effort um, to pull together $1.3 million and to make this work in a, in a very short time frame. The house was closed in May and reopened uh, October 1st. That's a very quick turnaround for $1.3 million worth of renovation. Um, 